Palin Walmart friends, Andang here for another episode of Helm's Deep as we make our way through the amazing zone that Turbine has crafted when we last left off. We went and basically fought through the entire Dunlendon camp, saving the town and making sure that they can come and retake it. And now we will probably do it again. You say that my town is well guarded against a counter assault. Let us hope then that your efforts to weaken the enemy's defenses there have been fruitful. Our success depends upon our strength. The numbers you speak of, are of gr speak of are great, but I am still of a mind to retake my town. Dudsick believes that, with the aid of his people, we can prevail. I still have many stout warriors, and there are many able refugees among us. However, some of my folk and the refugees do not share my confidence. If you would, go among my people, especially their leaders, and speak words of encouragement. Rally them to my cause. I will for force none to go to battle against such odds, but neither would I have them remain behind, in fear and shame, when there is no cause. What brings you to these lands? Thane Tolag is proud and able warrior. I've no doubt that this battle will go as an I anticipated. He needs not fear that my men and I shall pres be present during the counter assault. Why would I even talk to him? Anyway. What business have you with the Rohirrim? My people were driven from the Stone Deans by these raiders. Though many of us bear both Rohirrim and Dunlending blood, and many remain behind, siding with Dunland, we have chosen to remain faithful to Theoden King. We shall fight to free these lands. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Thane Torlach is brave and valiant warrior. However, not all his people are. Nevertheless, we shall fight beside him. For these wild men have burned and pillaged our homes, and we would have our visit vengeance. Yes, vengeance, of course. Quite right. Our mission is dire. Saint Olag is my lord, and I shall not abide, abandon him. <laughs> Never. Neither will my men. Whew. We are riders of the mark. We shall prevail against the wild men of Dunland and their half-orc allies. Never fear. Tidrick is here. What brings you to these lands? I do not agree with my father and Dunzig. They ri the risk is too great. We shall retreat to Stoke and rally with the Reeve Frithald. However... I will stand beside my father, as will my men. Alright, let's just return to him. Our mission is dire. All is well then. Let us prepare to move against the foe. The time is upon us. Will you aid the Rohirrim? It is well, it seems. My people and my allies are prepared to stand with me and take back what belongs to Rohan. This day, we shall assault the Dunlendings at Torsbury, and reclaim the town. Will you join my garrison, Andang? You have proven yourself a talented champion, and would be a boon to our efforts. Are you ready to leave? Good. Then let us bring our wrath upon those barbarians. All right. Fain Tordag it's time to go to battle. Torsbury. Determined to reclaim his town from the Finally. Dunlendian invaders, has joined with Dudzig of Arsley to march upon his ruined village. So excited. We finally have a full force of people, and we're going to reclaim a place. This is good. This is really good. You have awakened the displeasure of Saruman. Yeah, that's great, buddy. What business have you with the Rohirrim? The wild man have allied themselves with foul creatures in servants of the enemy. I do not believe that there is any good in them, if ever there was. Let us put these dogs down. 
Yes. For Torsberry and the Broadacres. Not for Rohan, though. Forget Rohan. Only for Torsberry and the Broadacres. Alright, this is going to be quite the battle. It seems. For there are a lot of allies here. Alright. We shall fight all of them. Every last one. So they are all dead. Here comes a big stun. Yeah, it's alright. Stunned a few. Alright, got her down. Time for this archer from behind. Yeah, just keep shooting them. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay. Alright, you guys just fight. That's great. Yep, you guys just keep fighting. <laughs> We're just gonna run on. Up oh, there you go, buddy. Good job. Alright, well we're doing good at reclaiming the city so far. Right, I'm going to go and burn the tents. Or get hit by this guy. Alright, so there we go. Time to burn the tents. Come on. I guess that's just fire. Okay. <laughs> we shall move on. There's a tent to burn. If I've ever seen one. Alright. We must protect the... Okay. Well, that town's first and probably wasn't any help anyway. There we go. Greetings, Doom of Aeoworth. Yes. Oh, good. Alright, another townsperson died. This is going decently. Well, some townspersons must die. I'm going to keep burning everything. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys go up there. I'm going to go see about this tent over here. Okay, I'm coming. Don't worry, there was nothing over there. Oh no. Never good when the hero shows up late. Well, it makes for good stories, I suppose. Come on. The question is, will the townsperson show up again later? That is the real question. Or are they dead forever now? You've reached the heart of Torsbury. Of course I have. I'm a champion. Alright, yes. Let's all come up this way. Alright, and... Hey there. Foul orc! I swear I shall bring vengeance upon my master. Do you think I fear you? You sh... Strawheads should learn to keep your houses in order. You have walked into the trap. My white-skinned friends laid upon you. Now you will, shall perish. Oh no, he died. That's probably not a good thing. Oh, that guy hits hard. My goodness. Alright. We shall face you nonetheless. Foul orc. Let me heal though. It's important. There we go. If we can stun them even for a moment. It will be great news. Alright. There we go, yes, took him out. And him. Will Sig's getting a little low in health though. There we are, yes. Alright. 
So we have lost Mini, but thankfully we still have the Warrior and we'll Sig. What business have you with the Red We cannot win the day, Andang. We must retreat and regroup at my father's camp. We We've killed most of the orcs here. I think we can think we can pull one out here. There's still another banner around here somewhere. I'm gonna go find the other banner. You stay there. Alright, let's see here. Ah, there we go. Missed that one completely. Alright, and now the banner. And then we shall retreat. I promise we will retreat. Don't worry. Just let me destroy as much as I can before we go. Alright. Let us go, before it is too late. Alright, so maybe the son knows something that the father didn't, and the champion didn't, and... Dudsig didn't. Hmm. Alright. What brings you to Undead. these lands? How fare you after the battle? I knew that we moved too quickly against Torsbury. As well. We should have foreseen the treachery that befell my father. There is no honor among the half-bloods. I beg your pardon, Andang, for it is not your doing, and I should not rail against you. I didn't even realize he was, but anyway. My thanks for you. My thanks for you and your services. Our success depends upon our strength. Andang, Will you, aid us? you find me in a terrible state. I wish to grieve my loss, yet... I know Thane. I am now Thane and cannot afford the privilege. I suspect there is more behind my father's murder than a single traitorous coward. For what I have learned, Frithmund was not a clever man. It is doubtful that he crafted the trap himself. I confess, I have become very suspicious of everyone around me but you. You are new to Torsbury. And the one who masterminded this plan had already known somewhat of my father's ways. Will you speak with my captains and our allies? You may learn something from them that they might not be willing to share with me. I would also have you obtain their permission to search the belongings. It is the nature of evil to unwittingly leave signs of its actions. Right. What brings you to these lands? The people of Torsbury loved the thing. I can think of none among us who would even consider betraying him. It was one of those Woodhurst mongrels that killed him. You should be questioning them instead. We are Thane Torfled's people, and will submit to his will. But it is an insult. We have fought and bled with him. Do what you must do, and leave me be. All right. Thane Torlag sheltered my folk when the Dunlendings came to Woodhurst. Despite the counsel of Tidric and his own reservations regarding any who are not pure blood, and yet, it was one of my folk who betrayed him. I can understand the young Thane's suspicions, and... We will willingly consent to whatever questions or searches he deems necessary to ally his suspicions, allay his suspicions. Alas, I cannot say much more about Frithmund. I confess that he was a little more than a casual acquaintance in Woodhurst. And I did not know him well. Will you aid the Horde <sighs> Lords? Does the boy's hatred of all who do not bear the pure blood of Rohan run so deep that he would cast aspirations upon us all? It is an insult, not only to me, but to my Thane who sent me. We came to aid Torsbury, and now he seeks hostilities? Nevertheless... Tophleth is now Thane of Torsbury, and these are his forsaken lands. I will submit, but you must inform him 
that I will be bringing my grievances to Thane Ordlach and Reeve Frithrod. I have brought no possessions of my own, save what you see upon my person. But you have my leave, with objection, to search my tent and those of my men. Hmm. Anyway, let me go over this way and see what this man has to say. What business have you with the Rohirrim? I have ever been a faithful servant to Thane Toldag, and it is an insult to be treated with the same suspicion as these half-blood rabble. However, I cannot fault Toflig for his blind suspicion. He has just lost his father, and become Thane of Torsbury in one evil stroke. My men and I will submit to whatever searches and inquiries Thane Torfleck demands of us, and we will be found innocent, one and all. Alas, I worry for Thane Torlag. Not to admit the folk from Woodhurst, the half-bloods cannot be trusted. You should look more closely into their number. Or even that captain from Audley. A Dunlending knife. Found evidence of another traitor. Note. Hmm. Why could not we see this before? Hmm. Must be the dark side. Curious necklace, yes. Shroud of the Dark Side, indeed. Let's see. Yes. Mysterious letter. Dawn Falcon Clan badge. Alright. We found much evidence. What brings you to the Alas! Islands? I know not what to make of these things. The knife could easily belong to any of the folk from Woodhurst. For well, many of them bear the blood of both Rohan and Dunland. The note can read many ways, some suspicious, some not. The Falcon Clan badge is incriminating, but could just be as likely a trophy from the battle. A necklace could be just that, though its design is not familiar to me. The letter piques my suspicion the most, for it is signed with an S which could stand for Sarmon, and reads strangely. But it is also in the hand of a not well trained in letters. I will have to think upon these things. The Rohirrim will need your aid. Reeve the Thought was wise in choosing you to bring her summons. Alas, however my people can come yet to Stoke. We are worn from our battle, and from the grief of the loss. But as well, I must learn of the true mind behind my father's death. You should return to Stoke at once. The Reeve will need you, doubtfully, arm um, in the time ahead. Let her know what we will come. Let her know that we will come as soon as we may. I must thank you again as well for bringing me Lufa's favor. My heart remains broken, for I know we shall never meet again under favorable circumstances. But the blow is softened somewhat to know that her heart remains mine. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Helm's Deep. When we return, we will head to the next city and hopefully warn of incoming refugees from the failed assault on Torsbury. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Helm's Deep. PVMP and Dang, subscribe.